Hey guys, welcome to another episode of TR's Corner. Uh, for today's uh, topic of discussion, I want to talk about the time where I saw my, it was my very first screening, first viewing, I should say, because I didn't really see it in the theater. I saw it at home uh, at a time where we had a Hollywood video in our hometown for, you know, renting videos and things like that. Uh, I want to talk about the very first time I ever saw Austin Powers Gold Member, or Austin Powers in Gold Member, as some people like to call it. Um, very funny movie. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. It's on my top 100 list for those who have seen that. Uh, it is posted here on YouTube, and um, it's on. Uh, it's in a written format on, for those who are watching this on Facebook. Um, yeah, I, I've updated it and things like that. So yeah, my top 100 list is, can be found, you know, quite a few other places. But uh, it's easily found on YouTube since I have, you know, a whole video dedicated to that, and I have a whole video dedicated to my updated top 100 list. And I think I even have a video talking about some of the choices on there. But anyway, back to the, the topic of discussion. Um, yeah, when I first saw Austin Powers in Gold Member, I remember laughing so hard that it's one of those movies where, you know how like when a movie is so funny, specifically when you watch it at home for the first time, you literally have to pause or stop the movie just to get over some that laugh that you had from that really funny joke in the movie. Austin Powers and Gold Member is very much that kind of movie. And even to this day during several we watches later, uh, I still have those kind of moments to myself also. Uh, just some really, really funny moments in this movie. I remember, specifically, I was the right age at the time I first saw that too. I think I was 12, yeah, I was 12 or 13. And I think it came out in 2002. And it was around New Year's Eve when my, first, when my not only did myself see it, but my, my whole family saw it with me, my brother, my mom, and my dad. And I remember there was a lot of times, because, you know, we were all watching it together. <clears throat> we were watching it right before the... Uh, the ball dropped that night later on for New Year's Eve, and uh, I, I just remember laughing so incredibly hard. Uh, the scene where Minnie Me is humping Beyonce Knowles, or Foxy Cleopatra, I should say, we, not only did we rewatch that scene like two or three times in a row, but I remember my dad, like, he couldn't even breathe because he was laughing so hard. Uh, I was laughing so hard, I think he even rolled out of the floor laughing. Um, it was just really, really funny. Um, the scene with, uh, the, the satellite that looks like a pair of boobs, uh, another scene that even to this day I really crack up at, specifically when the, you know, the A and the N are missing from the Titans for the football game in the stadium. I, I always crack up at that, and then when we see the Osbournes immediately after that, it makes it even funnier. Um, <clears throat> just a really funny movie. Uh, another, what was another moment in that? Um, the scene where uh, Austin thinks that uh, Fat Bastard put a turd in the diaper, and he threw it into where you know where the other diapers are, and you know he really thinks there's a turd in this diaper, and he's freaking out. And you know, everything that Fat Bastard says in that whole entire scene is just so hilarious. And like I said, there's just so many times. I, actually, the fart scene specifically in that scene when we first see Fat Bastard, um, we had to not only rewind that scene, but I just remember my dad and my my brother and I laughing hysterically at that, specifically when that huge fart happened and he, and he explains, you know, why it's so disgusting and things like that. It's just so hilarious. Uh, it was just, yeah, I can easily say if, if there was ever a film where I remember laughing extremely hard, you know, so hard where we had to stop the video temporarily just so I can get over the laugh. Um, Austin Powers and Goldmember was definitely one of those movies. It almost felt like a two and a half hour movie just because, there were so many of those moments where we just had to stop the movie and just take that laugh in. Uh, and, you know, it's only like a 98 or 99 minute long movie, so it's not very long. But because, you know, it took us so long to get through it that first time around because we were laughing so incredibly hard, uh, it, it definitely felt like a longer movie. So through later viewings, it's like, wait, this feels kind of short. Well, the reason for that is because we were laughing so hard the first time around, we had to stop it so many times. Um you know, back then, you know, we had a Hollywood video in our hometown, so you could, you know, rent DVDs and uh, VHS, and I don't think Blu-ray was around quite yet at the time. I think Blu-ray Blu -ray came out, I think, shortly after, I think Hollywood video was slowly going out of business, or they were completely out of business by the time Blu-rays, you know, really started to get popular. Um, but anyway, this is, you know, this is the time where, you know, DVD was really starting to get big. Uh, you know, DVDs are starting to show up in more people's homes. And so I remember running it on DVD and yeah, I just remember laughing hysterically on it. Uh, really, really funny movie. For those who haven't seen it yet, make sure you do. 
Um, I know Mike Myers hasn't made a lot of films these days, but I mean, that film for sure was just laugh out loud hilarious. There's been rumors of a fourth one eventually going to happen, and I really hope it does, because not only was Austin Powers and Gold member hilarious, I remember laughing hysterically at the first and second one, but I remember the third one specifically, I was really, really laughing really hard at. Uh, I think I saw the first and second one shortly after the third one, so maybe that's why the third one was so funny to me, because I was still new to Austin Powers, and I was at the right age and the right demographic at the time to watch something that hilarious. Um, so yeah, really, really funny mo movie. I just, like I said, it just, I remember it being a really long viewing of it just because it took so long to, you know, get over some of the laughs I had at it. Really, really funny movie. It just really comical, really clever. Uh, my family and I still quote it to this day. I mean, it's a very quotable movie. Um, definitely a very memorable movie, you know, with all the scenes that happen in it. Uh, so if you've never seen Austin Powers and Gold Memory, make sure you do. It's absolutely hilarious. And like I said, that first screening of it, I just remember laughing hysterically at it, and I had a great time. And I hope for those of you who whoever saw it or are going to see it, I hope the same experience was for you watching that for the first time. I hope we get another film like that and, and, uh, down the road at some point. Ted was pretty close in 2012. Uh, I remember really, really laughing hysterically at that one. Hopefully we'll get more experiences like that here in the future with more comedies. So... Um, I'll see you guys here for the next video. That was this topic of discussion for this TR's Corner episode, and I will see you guys for a future video.